Uh, Antonio, thank you for thank being you with for us having today. Me. Good afternoon. Great to see you. We have so much to talk about, and I, I, I think maybe we start with what you talked about last May when you were here in Davos. At that point, you said that the supply chain disruptions were real, you were experiencing them, and you expected them to last for some time to come. Here we are seven months later. What, yeah. What's the situation? Much better, significantly better. I think uh, we went through a period of recover, both by the uh, addition of capacity, but also driven by the declining consumer, which allowed suppliers to shift supply to the enterprise space, particularly the IT enterprise. So I will say today here probably more than 90 percent out of the way. That's great news to hear. Yes. Uh, labor market also getting a little bit better, at least in terms of the employer's perspective yeah. on things. You're not seeing the same levels of attrition. No, actually, uh, I was reflecting this uh, before I came here with my team. We, we actually review our voice of the workforce. We do it every year to see what the employee engagement uh, sentiment is. And we have the highest employee engagement ever in the mid-80s and the lowest attrition in a long time, actually low single digits. And, and it, it had been 9 to 10 percent before. It was high single digits. Okay, so you're talking about that. Uh, one of the things that we've seen is uh, how much trouble technology companies have had lately. The Nasdaq was down last year. Your stock's actually been a counter uh, trend to that. Your, your stock was up last year versus the rest of the Nasdaq. Um, you've had been on quite a tear, and I think this is happening as uh, investors are trying to get away from some of those huge growth companies that didn't have a lot of profits at the time. They're looking yeah. for companies that really do have the profits and can put up the numbers. Well, Mickey, we still have ways to go. We're still significant undervalue for the amount of uh, profit and actually growth we are driving. We believe we are extremely well positioned to the trends we see in the market. And last year was a very strong year for us. Not only we drove growth on revenues, uh, close to 6% for our size is pretty meaningful, but also we expanded margins. We actually uh, more than double EPS from four years ago. And we are on track to deliver a very strong year this year, which actually is very good news for us because he says our strategy is working to become an edge to cloud company. And the strategy is to get more people to pay for services, pay for it as a service. Well, actually, business? what we see is that customers are changing the way consume IT. They want to consume it more and more as a service. It's not just renting a public cloud space to run applications and host the data. They want to do it across the entire IT estate. And that's why we believe the world is hybrid. That's an advantage for us because we can give that true unified experience from the edge to the cloud. Who are your biggest competitors at this point? All of them. All of them. <laughs> but the fact of the matter, we also uh, are partners. You know, it's just a matter of delivering value together to our customers. And when I look at uh, our, some of our competitors, in many cases, think about the public cloud, we actually partner with them to integrate their solution and our solutions together. So there is way and room for us to work together to deliver a better value proposition and grow together.